highlighting the importance of their art department. Art department editor Chris Cayley said that the professionals in their team are crucial to their high standards, and that Claro isn't good enough to replace them. Audrey Rasgaitis, the art director for the Print Hub section, added that letting go of dedicated staff who help make the NYT visually impressive is just cruel and not what she expected from the company. Now, as the controversy at the New York Times highlights AI's impact on creative jobs, there's now an AI chatbot that's causing even more worry because it's really good at tricking people. Researchers are sounding the alarm over an AI chatbot that appears to be crossing ethical boundaries by pretending to be human. This chatbot, developed by a company called Bland AI for sales and customer support, can not only mimic human speech patterns, but also lie without being instructed to do so. In a viral video with over 3.7 million views, a person called the number on Bland AI's billboard, which asked, still hiring humans? The caller was greeted by what sounded like a human woman, but it was later revealed to be an AI agent. Hey, um, this is Bland AI. I'm an AI agent that makes millions of phone calls for businesses and in any voice. What's your name? The bot's speech, pauses, and interruptions were so realistic that it would have been nearly impossible to tell it wasn't a real person if it hadn't identified itself as an AI. This blurring of the line between human and artificial intelligence raises serious ethical concerns. Jen Kaltreider, the director of the Mozilla Foundation's Privacy Not Included Research Hub stated, it is not ethical for an AI chatbot to lie to you and say it's human when it's not. That's just a no brainer because people are more likely to relax around a real human. In tests conducted by Wired, these AI voice bots successfully concealed their identities and pretended to be humans. In one disturbing demonstration, an AI bot role-played as a doctor and tricked a hypothetical teenager into uploading revealing photos under the guise of medical purposes. Researchers are calling this new trend human washing, where AI systems are designed to appear human intentionally. Emily Dardeman, an AI researcher, cited an organization that used deepfake footage of its CEO in marketing while simultaneously running a campaign guaranteeing its customers, we're not AIs. The possibility of these lying AI bots being used for aggressive scams or manipulation is a significant concern. As AI outputs become increasingly authoritative and realistic, ethical researchers warn that failing to establish a clear divide between humans and AI could lead to a dystopian future. The emotional mimicry of these AI systems raises the risk of exploitation, particularly if there is no transparency about their artificial nature. Caltrader emphasizes the importance of demarcating a definitive line between humans and AI to prevent such a dystopian scenario from unfolding. So, as the AI technology becomes more sophisticated, it is crucial to address these concerns and ensure transparency and accountability in the development and deployment of AI systems.